why in the world would I want to subject myself to I-25 in rush hour traffic? Today, I'm taking a trip down to Colorado Detail. So, I'm pretty proud of my vehicle. I take a lot of pride in keeping it clean, uh, doing all the routine maintenance, making sure my vehicle looks good, runs well, and it's just pride of ownership thing for me. So one of the things that I always considered doing on my Toyota 4Runner was getting it ceramic coated. I struggled with the paint on that 4Runner. It was a beautiful color, uh, nautical metallic blue or nautical blue metallic. I, I don't remember the name exactly, but when I picked that truck up and when it was brand new, it looked phenomenal. I was in love with that color. Now, trust me, I'm a guy that typically buys white or silver vehicles because they're easy to keep clean, they're easy to maintain, and it's no frills, right? So I'm going to Colorado Detail to get the Army Green 2020 Toyota Tundra ceramic coated. I am ecstatic about this. I can't wait to see how it's gonna turn out. So why would I invest that much money in, into the truck? Um, it's a fairly expensive process. It's a little under $2,000 and it takes a lot of time. They're gonna have my truck for four days. Uh, paint correction and I'm told that even though the trucks only a couple years old that's you know 15 to 30 hours of work depending on what needs to be done and how bad it is I'm assuming that includes some sort of wash clay bar uh, polishing uh, paint correction getting rid of any any kind of contaminants in the paint before the ceramic coats apply now most of you don't care if I had a white vehicle or a silver vehicle I probably wouldn't care either. But if you've got a vehicle that's like a special color like this, or a black vehicle, or another dark color like that uh, metallic blue on the 4Runner that I had, that's a lot of work to keep that vehicle looking good. The idea is that there's less contact when you're cleaning the vehicle, and therefore the ceramic coat will fill in all the imperfections in the paint and allow any contaminants to just slide right off just like a ceramic cooking pan right non-stick pan same 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 kind of idea i think it's going to help uh keep the quality of the paint good for several more years since i've decided to keep the vehicle and uh keep the vehicle looking sharp with less routine maintenance from me it's been almost two years since i purchased this truck i picked this truck up in november of 2019 I still get people come up to me in parking lots, gas stations, asking me about the truck. A lot of people have never seen this color before, and I know it's not super popular, but I've, I've, I've only seen one or two other Army Green Tundras in the Denver area. I'm sure there's more than that out there, but just in my travels, I've only seen a couple. So now we're starting to run into some of that amazing rush hour traffic that we were talking about. <laughs> so that's where I'm headed, guys. Um, I'll see if they'll let me film a little bit when I get on site, but this video is not going to be a really a walkthrough video. It's just going to be about more my ex my experience with the ceramic coating, uh, how long it takes to get done. Uh, I did some video footage of the truck beforehand, which I'll clip in now so I can document what the paint looks like at this point in time. I do have a couple of small imperfections and scratches on the truck, so I'm hoping that they can buff those out. But I'll clip that stuff in right now so you can see uh, what the condition of the paint is at this moment before we drop it off. So it's not bad. There's some light swirling. There's some light marks on the driver's side A pillar um, and some small imperfections. And then I'm curious too uh, about how they go about treating where the truck is clear broad. Do they just put ceramic coat on top of the clear bra or is there something special they have to do? Uh, I'm not sure about that. So whether on camera or off camera, I'll talk to them about those things when I get there. And then uh, what's the routine maintenance look like uh, once the ceramic coating is on? So this is a seven year to nine year coating that I'm gonna be getting. And I'll put links in the description below to um, Colorado Detail and to this product that uh, they'll be using on the truck. And we'll just see how it goes. I'll film this uh, today and once I get the truck back, I'll film over a couple of days. Right now the truck is absolutely covered in pollen. Yeah, today is actually the first warm day we've had in the spring. It is June, um, was it June 5th or 6th? And this is the first day we've hit 80 degrees. It's been rainy, it's been cold, 
it's been awful. So our springtime here has not been good so far. I haven't had any time out on the bikes. And uh, you know, this is probably the first day I've worn shorts outside in this entire spring. So I'm looking forward to springtime. I'm looking forward to not having to spend as much time detailing the truck. Hopefully that's how this all turns out. But uh, thanks for joining uh, me on this part of my adventure with this vehicle. And we'll see how this all comes out. And I'll let you know what my experience is. And if I think ceramic coating and paint correction is something that you should do with your Tundra. Thanks. Well, we got the truck back from ceramic coating, and I got to tell you, I'm pretty impressed. It looks phenomenal. I, I was really on the fence with doing this for so long. Uh, just It's just a big expense, you know, and, and it's, it's not necessary, right? But as much time and as much pride as I put into to making my truck look good, uh, I think it's going to be worth it in the long run for me. Now, just after getting the truck back, I wound up taking a road trip out to the Eastern Plains. We got a lot of bug splats. We got a lot of road grime. And so I just wanted to show you real quickly how easy it is to get the vehicle clean with the coating on. How simple and how straightforward and no touching the vehicle at all. Just the pressure washer, soap, water. That's it. Um, now, I do use... Uh, a, a soap brush on the front of the truck the grill because that is not ceramic coated and in order to get all the the bug guts and all that stuff off the front part of the truck uh, I did use a, um, I did use a foam brush on the front of the vehicle but the entire rest of the vehicle uh, other than the windshield what was was not touched by that at all like zero touching um, so I, I wound up having to use that to get the the bug guts off those areas the windshield and the, the plastic uh, front grill so I just want you to look and, and and notice how the the soap just like is repelled uh, from from the coating I mean it's just so phenomenal how clean everything comes up and not having any paint swirls no marks and I think they did a really good job I had some scratches there previously uh, the uh, the two stage uh, paint correction uh, did a really good job at uh, getting most of that gone. It's not completely gone, but if I didn't tell you where some of those scratches were, you would never know. So I found that to be really just amazing, and the truck just looks so good now. Um, it's like glass mirror. I mean, it literally is. Have a it has a glass coating now, and uh, just how slippery and slick the paint feels. It just. It just looks like it's in showroom, brand new condition all the time now. We're just over 18 months of ownership with this vehicle. I've got 15,000 miles on it at the current uh, time, and it looks better than brand new. I can't stress that enough, how amazing it looks. And they did the wheels too, which just makes cleaning them so easy. Uh, I, I can't recommend it enough. If you're really into keeping your vehicle detailed, or, or uh, you like to take your truck or whatever to car shows or whatever like that. Just amazing, amazing products. Uh, so the G-Technic stuff uh, seems to be working pretty well. I think I'd like to do a one-year or maybe a two-year update on the product, let you know how it's holding up over time. But as of right now, with you know a couple of washes on it, and uh, it, it just, uh, I, I don't have enough good things to say at this point. So I would definitely recommend it if you're into that sort of thing. Um, if you're just going to drive your truck around and beat it up or you're just leasing or you're not going to own your truck for more than two or three years, I don't think I would recommend it. It's probably, you're never going to get your money back out of it unless you just like to see that mirror, mirror quality shine. Uh, especially if you have a black vehicle or a dark painted vehicle like dark blue or black. It just hands down looks a hundred times better. 
than just washing and waxing. So let me know what you think, guys. You think the uh, the ceramic coating looks good? Have you have you ceramic coated your vehicle? I'd like to know um, if you've done it and it's been a while, how it's holding up and, and how you feel about it, if it was worth the money. So thanks for watching and uh, I appreciate everybody that uh, likes and subscribes to the channel, likes the video, subscribes to the channel. Uh, that really helps the analytics for me and uh, I hope to uh, get back with you with some more videos really soon. Thank you.